Hey guys, welcome to Gamma Swap. Um, I see a lot of people in the Discord server asking about how they can participate um, in the alpha testing. So I just wanted to make a quick video um, showing all the how to's. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to come to the Discord server. In the Discord server, uh, find the testnet guide channel. Here, you'll find a very clear instruction on how to add the gamma swap testnet network to your MetaMask wallet. So just follow the instruction. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. After you do this, uh, you'll need to come to the testers channel. This is where you are going to supply your testnet wallet address. And from here, you're going to see, receive some test ETH uh, in your wallet. And uh, you're going to need this ETH uh, in order to require some more test tokens on the UI. So supply your wallet address here. Now this process may take up to an hour or maybe a few hours. Uh, so just be patient. After you received the test ETH in your wallet, you can come to the Gamma Swap app UI. Now on the top right corner, this drop down menu here, this is where you can request um, more test tokens. Click on request. Okay, so this is where you can request for more test tokens. And uh, after you get your test tokens, um, you can start playing around with the uh, UI. Okay, so after you receive your test tokens, uh, let's start with the markets uh, page. On this page, uh, you'll see a lot of markets that are currently available to, to test on. Uh, let's just pick the first one here, Uni and the Wrap ETH liquidity market. So on this market page, uh, you can see this is the Uni and Wrap ETH market. Uh, you have two options here. You can provide liquidity or you can borrow liquidity. Let's start with providing liquidity. Okay, so on the supply and liquidity page, uh, as you can see, I have previously supplied some liquidity to this market. Now, you'll notice this token. Okay, this is the GSLP token. This is basically the synthetic form of the liquidity that I provided. You can kind of see it as a receipt after you have supplied liquidity to, to the gamma swap uh, market. Okay, let's say uh, we want to supply more liquidity. Uh, it's very straightforward, uh, just like any other DeFi app. Okay, uh, you're going to have to approve if this is your first time. And uh, confirm. Confirm. Let MetaMask do its thing. Boom, we have successfully deposited the reserve tokens. So the reserve tokens are the tokens that you supply for the liquidity. Okay, so let's go back to the market page. So now we've just provided liquidity. Let's try um, borrow some liquidity. As you, as you can see uh, on this page, uh, we have a fancy graph here. Uh, let's play around uh, with it. Let's say we want to borrow one LP token. Now, in order to borrow liquidity, you have to supply collaterals. The way you supply collateral is by supplying the underlying reserve tokens. So these are uh, what we call reserve tokens on uh, Gamma Swap. So let's just try to enter some numbers here to get started. Let's say one uni and two wrap ETH. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is my margin and it's currently sitting at 141%. I believe the minimum margin is 90%. So now I have sufficient collateral uh, to, to borrow this li liquidity token. Now, if you play around with uh, the ratio a little bit, you'll see the graph is shifting this way. Now, this is a super interesting part. By changing your collateral ratio, you are effectively mimicking buying either a call or a put option. Now, if, if this sounds super complex to you, don't worry. I'm pretty sure more educational content is on the way. Okay, so this is telling me that I have insufficient wrap e balance. So let's uh, switch up the ratio a little bit. Okay, now it looks looks good. So let's approve. Confirm. So yeah, that is it. If you have any questions or constructive feedback, uh, feel free to come into our Discord server. 
Um, you can ask your questions uh, here in the question channel, or you can provide your feedback here in the product feedback channel. Thanks for participating. Bye for now.